the great avatars who have gone before them in robes of light which is the lord maitreya krishna who was the world teacher and jagat guru of the aryan fifth root race and the world king vaibhashwat manu who was the king and ruler of the aryan fifth root race will hand over the final charge approximately 700 years from 2012 so 2012 marks but the beginning of a certain evolutionary work which is to be done with all of us who are transiting from the aryan fifth root race as they first transited from the lemurian to the atlantean race and from the atlantean race to the aryan race from the aryan race to the sixth root race the aryan is the fifth and this is the sixth root race so this evolutionary process which is taking place the building of new nations the building of new communities the building of a new race this is what is going to happen uh, at beginning from 2012 so it's not all a negative uh, uh, picture which is given in the sibylline prophecy or the oracle of delphi or the da vinci codes if they do exist which i don't think there were any such codes but anyway by by merlin and all these people who prophesy i'm surprised how none of them could prophesy the positive aspects which happen on in the spiritual and inner world they seem to prophesy on the external and objective world i am talking about the spiritual progress of the subjective world including a bit of the objective world starting from the evolution of your physical body then your emotional body in then your mental body intuitional body all these things to the perfect self realization state where you have and can live in the brave new world this egalitarian society which will be ruled by the central government in a place called sambalpur which the westerners later corrupted the the name to shambala and later it got corrupted to shangrila so it is this legendary town the spiritual town of sambalpur which is in the inner celestial spheres in subtle dimensions so I have nothing more to say unless certain questions are asked and this is what it is about 2012 and we may should not make a big deal of that the big deal is the building of the aryan six through trace and the appearing of the four horsemen of the apocalypse this is what is important and who are the four horsemen of the apocalypse <coughs> the first horseman is the maitreya krishna whom they call the christ the second horseman is the lord vaibhashwat manu who is the spiritual ruler of the inner government of the world the third who will succeed the king vaibhashwat manu will be the king savarni in the name and form of and spirit of gyanavata sri yukteswar and the one fourth horseman will be yoga avatar lahiri mahasaya who will succeed the world teacher or jagat guru as the next jagat guru next world teacher these are the four horsemen of the apocalypse oh, gurinath um how will we recognize the kalki avatar in the times the kalki avatar will now be infused in the spirit of humanity you will recognize him in the peace that you get during meditation the power that you have to take the evolution of your soul in your own hands that's how you will recognize his power he will manifest as the embodiment of wisdom 700 years hence approximately then there will be no doubt about you recognizing him <laughs>